The Cleanse, a physical reaction between Ben and Jennifer, was created by Abigail Hargroves, according to the Umbrella Academy season 4 finale. This reaction unleashed a monster that threatened to devour the timeline. Amid her anguish and shame over what she had done, Abigail wanted to end her life by destroying the timeline. She intended for the Hargroves' children to experience the reaction between Marigold and Durango, so she presented them with the Marigold jar. The Hargroves' family broke the original timeline by putting Marigold into their bodies, which led Number 5 to discover that there are an endless number of different histories. The siblings Hargroves and Abigail persuaded Reginald to have the cleanse monster devour them in order to repair the damage chronology. This would merge Durango and Marigold and erase them from existence from the universe. The fact that Allison and Diego's children were seen to be alive in the last scene, despite their parents' sacrifice, begs the subject of the grandfather paradox and the rationale behind happy endings. Season 3's post-credits scene implied that Ben may have been born naturally to the Hargroves' siblings in the original universe where Marigold was not involved. Both the Hargroves' presence and the potential for future temporal disruptions caused by Marigold pollen finding new hosts are hinted at in the last scene with Marigold flowers. Are the Hargroves' siblings really dead after the Umbrella Academy season 4? A group known as the Keepers, headed by Jean and Jean, were certain that they were in a fragmented history. Jean and Jean named their theory the Umbrella Effect, after the abundance of evidence they gathered, pointing to parallel universes and the Umbrella Academy in particular. The Keepers held the belief that a devastating catastrophe called the Cleanse would occur, eradicating the different timelines in order to restore the main one. They were also aware that Jennifer played a crucial role in this event. After the Hargroves failed to halt the cleanse and Lila broke the news to five, that their relationship had ended due to an affair that occurred during their seven years of lost time in the multiverse, Five found himself in a tube station and was led to Max's delicatessen, a tiny diner owned by his variations. While there, he realized, with the aid of a variation, that the Marigold children including himself, his siblings, and everyone else were responsible for the world's demise in an infinite number of timelines. The multiverse was born because of a split in the main chronology caused by the arrival of Marigolds on Earth, as well as the formation of the Hargroves and the other offspring. The artwork in the diner depicted various ways they had ended the world across multiple dimensions. Five realized that letting the cleanse consume them and their marigolds was the only way to save the universe, but that meant they would be erased from history, not just killed. While waiting for the cleanse to catch up with them, Lila escorted her family, children, and Allison's daughter Claire to the tube station, where she ensured they boarded the train to a safer timeline. Then she rejoined the Hargroves. Several characters from previous seasons, including Hazel, Agnes, the Swedes, and the Handler, were shown joyfully residing in the main timeline in the last scene of the Umbrella Academy, which was shown to Victor in a vision. It was confirmed that the Hargroves' sacrifice mended the multiverse, but they were absent since they were obliterated. What the flowers mean in the Umbrella Academy Season 4's mid-credits scene? Feature behind-the-scenes images from every season, but there's a shocking reveal in the middle of the credits. The scene returns to the tree from before the credits rolled, as the camera descends to its roots to reveal eight flowering golden blooms. Even though they are no longer physically present or remembered, the flowers serve as a tribute to Luther, Diego, Allison, Klaus, Ben, Victor, and Lila. How Ben and Jennifer trigger the Umbrella Academy's final apocalypse. The original timeline in which Ben died was finally explained in Season 4 of the Umbrella Academy. The umbrellas were supposed to unlock a container containing a lethal weapon in order to destroy it. When Ben unlocked it, he discovered a young Jennifer inside after hearing someone inside. Touching hands signifies that Ben assisted Jennifer in removing herself from the container. After escaping, Reginald shot Jennifer and Ben before erasing the memory of the incident from the team's collective consciousness. In the present day, the cleanse began when Jen and Ben's hands met as Jean and Jean crashed into the Umbrella's vehicle. A Marigold and its polar opposite, a Durango, were both invented by Reginald's wife Abigail. The result of Durango's inexorable physical reaction upon contact with Marigold's was the cleanse, the end of the world as we knew it.
Jen touched Ben in both the original and present timelines, setting off the apocalypse, because she hosted Durango. Ben and Jennifer became one horrific, malformed monster that devoured everything in its path, despite the best efforts of the Hargroves particularly Victor who were unable to save him. What happened to Sir Reginald Hargroves in the Umbrella Academy's final timeline? Rigidly, the Hargroves went to see their father for answers after witnessing that Reginald's men were protecting Jennifer's community. Reginald promised to assist them remember how Ben died in their original timeline and admitted to establishing a town to shield Jennifer from the Umbrellas and any Marigold host, actually. Reginald, who was somewhat more empathetic this time around, nevertheless wanted to murder Ben the moment they discovered him, however, Victor dissuaded him. During their time working together in Season 4 of the Umbrella Academy, Reginald informed Victor that he should be proud to wear the team's jersey and that he didn't deserve Reginald's treatment of him. But Reginald didn't know that Abigail was involved in the purge until he listened to her reasons, then, with his wife by his side, he embraced the end of the world. If the Hargrove's sacrifice and the cleanse erased their entire existence, then Reginald likely died with Abigail when their home planet was destroyed, and it's unclear if he is alive in the main timeline or not. However, he may have still traveled to Earth without releasing the Marigolds. The fact that Abigail was involved in the end of the world was one of the most surprising parts of the Umbrella Academy. In contrast to Reginald's icy and frequently brutal demeanor, Abigail presented herself as a warm and generous woman. Abigail told the Hargroves that she made the Marigolds and Durango by mistake and that they came into touch with one another. What nobody imagined, though, was that Abigail would play a crucial role in setting off the end of the world. The reason he possessed a jar of marigolds was because Abigail had been pretending to be Cy Grossman Denny months the entire time, she wanted the Hargroves to locate it in order for them to reclaim their abilities. In order to ensure that the purification took place, Abigail led the group to the town where Jennifer was hiding and murdered Jean in her guise. The series end of the Umbrella Academy saw Abigail telling Reginald that she had earned her death for creating Durango a monstrous creation that validated the fate of their homeworld. Reginald explained to Abigail that he let the Marigolds go because he missed her when she questioned his motives. Since the cleanse was her method of making amends, Abigail confessed to interfering with his attempts to keep Ben and Jennifer at arm's length. After hearing Abigail out, Reginald shared her joy at the end of days. There was no sign of Abigail or Reginald in the last scene of the Umbrella Academy, 